بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم we'll start that was the last one we did we do more problems yes he won't limit f of x plus h minus f of x over h but he won't he won't f prime and if you look at the function this is my function where i need the product rule and they need the chain rule so f prime Derivative of the first one times the second plus x derivative of the second e of u times derivative of this to x minus 3x squared. Now I take e x squared minus x cubed as a common factor. What is the remaining? One here I have x times this. So that will be this one, one plus two x squared minus three x cubed, which is this one. Yeah. Now this is, I need the Leibniz notation, okay? I need dy over dx, dy over du times du over dx. I have y as a function of u and u is a function of x. Okay, so what is dy by du? That will be minus 6u. What is du by dx? That will be secant squared x over 2, derivative of this, times half. So that gives me minus 3u secant squared x over 2. Hmm. Okay. Now I have u equal to square root of 3. And I need x. So either I will do square root of 3 equal to x over 2, or I can do this trick. I know that secant square, or well, let me see, yeah. secant square <coughs> of x over 2 of any angle is 1. Plus tan inverse, the same angle. And I know tan inverse of x over 2 is equal to u, which is square root of 3. So if u equals square root of 3, then secant square x over 2 will be 1 plus u square. The square root of 3 square. That will be 4. So this will be equal to 4. And u is square root of 3. So the answer is, and this is minus 3. So the answer is minus 12 square root of 3. Which is clear. The square is square. This trick one plus tan square x over two equals secant square x over two. Since I know, look at this secant. Let me do it again. Is one plus tan square x over two, and tan x over two is u. So that will be one plus u square, and I know u equals square root of three. So I can write this as minus 3u, 1 plus u squared. So everything now tells of u, I will substitute the u, which is square root of 3. So that will be minus 3 square root of 3, 1 square root of 3 square root of 3, minus 12 square root of 3. And that will be minus. Well, I equal this, I equal this. So I need this to do the same thing. dy over dx is dy over du times du over dx. Okay, I have what's it here? I have minus 4u times d over dx. I have cotan that will be minus cosecant square x over 2 times half. So I have minus 2u cosecant square x over 2. I'll do the same trick. I have cosecant square x over 2 is 1 plus cotan square x over 2, 
which is 1 plus u square. So this is minus 2u, 1 plus u square. No, it's, it's not minus. Minus times minus, that will be plus, sorry. That will be plus, that will be plus. So it will be a 2 root 3, 1 plus 3, which is 4. So it will be 8 root 3, which is this one. Find the y over the x. Sometimes, sometimes I can write y in terms of x right away, like in this one. This is y. Yeah, I can make it dy by dx is dy over du times du over dx. You will get the same answer. Let me do it this way, then I'll do it by an easier way. dy over dx will be what? 12u cubed. And this one, 1 over 2 root x. 1 over 2 root x. A root x is u, so I can write everything in terms of u. No, I want it in terms of x. Huh? So x equal 1. So I have x equal 1. That implies substitute here, u equal 1. So I have everything now. 12 times 1 times 1 over 2, which is 6. This is one way. Another way, I can substitute this quickly. So I have y is 3u to the power 4 plus 1. I mean, it means I can write y in terms of x. So that will be 3, the square root of x to the power 4 plus 1, and that will be 3x squared plus 1. So this is y as a function of x. So it will be dy over dx, 6x. What will be dy over dx at x equal 1? That will be 6. Yeah, this is the correct answer. Okay. Yeah. Now I have function of function as as uh, with the notation, and they have product rule also. Hmm? So we need to be careful now. Capital F prime. Derivative of the first. What's the derivative of this? The number is three. This is f of u. So you have f prime of u times derivative of this, which is four e x times the second function, which is cosine x plus 3f or ax. This is my first function. Derivative of cosine, which is minus sine. Now what I want, I want capital F at 0. So I have 3 f prime e to the power 0 1 at 4 times 4. Cosine 0 is 1 plus 3 f of 4 I don't have f of 4, but times 0. No need for f of 4. Okay. So that means what is the prime at 4? It's minus half. This will be 12 times minus half plus 0. Because this is 0 times the value, which is 0. So the answer is minus 6. Okay. Capital F is f of x, g of sine. So I have product rule here inside. So capital F prime will be f prime at x g of sine x the space is important okay uh, capital f prime is f prime at x g of sine x times here i have product rule derivative of the first one times the second plus x Derivative of this, derivative of the second, which is g prime at sine x times cosine x. Now, I need to find capital F prime at pi. Let us see what will happen. So that will be F prime at pi, g sine pi, which is zero, times g sine pi, which is zero, plus x, which is by g prime at zero, cosine by, which is minus one. Okay, g at zero is what? One. So I have f prime at by times g at zero is one, g prime at zero is two over by, so that will be by two over by times minus one. f prime at by, where is it? Is one. So that will be one. 
this is one minus two. That will be minus one. What is this one? X times D of tan X. Okay. So capital F prime will be F prime for the X G of tan X times now product rule G. That will be G of tan X. Derivative of the first is one times the second plus X. Derivative of this, I need the chain rule again. G tan X. Derivative of this, secant square X. What they want, they want capital F prime at pi over four. That will be F prime, pi over four. G tan pi over four, G at one. Times G at one plus X G prime at one, secant pi over four, is the square root of two. Square it times two. And this is pi over four, and so this is X. Okay, let me see what will happen. G at one is four. So this is F prime at pi. Is there a prime at pi? Yes, we have it. Times, see G at one, G at one is four. G prime at one is two. So it's four plus pi. And F prime at pi is two over four plus pi times four plus pi. That will be two. That will be the answer. Yeah, little bit differentiable. He gave you F of six equal minus three. I don't know why. He said this derivative, derivative of this function equal X squared minus one. So what is D over DX, X, F of three X. I need the product rule, derivative of the first is one, it will be f of three x plus x, I have f prime as three x times three, derivative of this. So this one will be f of three x plus three x, f prime of three x, and that should equal x squared minus one. What they want, they want f prime at six. To find f prime at six, I will let x equal two. So I have f prime at six here. So I have f at six plus six f prime at six equal four minus one, which is three. This is what I'm looking for. F of six given here. That will be minus three plus six f prime at six equal three. So I have six f prime at six equal six. So f prime at six will be six over six, which is one. That will be us. If it's differentiable, he has this information where x is positive, huh? F of three x squared plus five equal cube root x plus seven. You want f prime at eight. There is no f prime here. I will differentiate now. What you will have? Question, uh, this is chain rule. F prime, three x squared plus five, times 6x equal this is 1 over 3 x plus 7 to the power minus 2 over 3 times 1 derivative of this which is 1 that will not make any effect now to get f prime at 8 i will let x equal 1 so i have 3 plus 1 this is 5 and this is 3 plus 5 that will be 8 so f prime at 8 uh, very clear why I choose one. So I have f prime at eight. Huh? I cannot choose minus one since x is positive. Huh? f prime at eight times six equal one over three, one plus seven, eight cube root. That is one over cube root of eight or square. So f prime at eight will be this is what? This is two square four. So I have one over 12 times one over six, one over 72. And that will be the answer. Yeah. Okay. If of x is one, four. 
over 2x plus 1. So it's 4, 2x plus 1 to the power minus 1. And g of x is k cotan x, and k greater than minus 1 is a constant. Given that this f circle g, confirmation I have, in f circle g at pi over 4 equal minus 1 over 16. What is this? This is, you know that f circle g prime at x equal f prime at g of x times g prime at x. So I have f prime at g of pi over 4 times g prime at pi over 4 equal minus 16. Okay, that means what? What is g at pi over 4? If you plug it here, cotan by 4 is 1, so I have f prime at k times g prime at pi over 4 equal minus 60. This is the information given. Okay, so it means I need, I need f prime. What will be f prime? It will be minus 4 to x plus 1 to the power minus 2, derivative of this, which is 2. So that give me minus 8 over 2x, since I'm doing it at k, over 2k plus 1 square. Okay, what is g prime? g prime at x, that will be minus k cosecant square x. At y over 4, cosecant y over 4 is square root of 2, square it. So I have times minus 2k equal minus 60. So I have now one equation. Uh, I have equation of one variable, which is k. So, uh, yeah, what we have? This is, this is 216 with this one. So I have k over this equal minus one, or I can make it minus k equal this. So that means minus k equal this times one, four k square plus four k plus one. So I have four k square plus five k plus one equal zero. So I have four k plus one and k plus one equal zero, is it? This is one, k plus four k, five k, yes. So I have k equal minus 1 over 4, or k equal minus 1. This is rejected y because he said k greater than minus 1. So my answer is minus 1 over 4. Yeah, this is, it needs the derivative of the log. So we'll do it later. Huh? Now he wants to find the derivative, but he wants to get the information from the table. Okay. So let me do this one first, call it A. Let me call this A, call this B. What is A? D over dx, f of 2x plus g of x. Chain rule, that will be f prime. Then I will substitute that one. 2x plus g of x times derivative of this, which is 2 plus j prime at x. Now we need to find this. At x equal 1. So means I'll substitute x equal 1. So that will be f prime 2 plus g at 1 times 2 plus j prime at 1. That give me g at 1, g at 1, that will be 4. So it will be f prime 2 plus 4 times 2 plus g prime at 1. That will be 5. So f prime at 6, uh, that will be 7 times f prime at 6. Will come f prime at 6, that will be 4. So I have 7. So I have 7 times 4 which is 28. Okay, now we'll come to B. I have D over dx, G of square root of X. That will be G prime at square root of X, 
limit of this one over two root x. So it will be d over dx of g at the square root of x, but at x equals 16. That will be g prime square root of 16, which is 4, 1 over 2 times 4. What is g prime at 4? g prime at 4. That will be 8. So it will be 8 times 1 over 8, which is 1. So this is 28 plus 1 which is 29. So that is the answer. If x equal cosine to x, sine to x, find f double prime. Yeah, you need to notice one thing. I know that sine to x is equal to sine x cosine x. So sine 4x would be 2 sine 2x cosine 2x. So sine 2x cosine 2x is half sine 4x. So this is equal half sine 4x. So what is f prime? It will be half times cosine 4x times 4. That will be 2 cosine 4x. If you want what? f double prime. f double prime will be what? Minus 8 sine for x. Yeah, which is this one? If g of x is a differential function, and if x is this, he want the second derivative in terms of g. Do it step by step. Quotient rule and, and product rule. f prime, derivative of the first one times the second, plus x times g prime of x squared, derivative of this, which is 2x. So that will be g of x square plus 2x square g prime at x square. Okay, that f prime. Now do the second derivative of this one. That will be any the chain rule here. g x square times 2x plus here I have product of two functions. That will be 4x g prime of x square derivative of the first times the second plus the first derivative of this, which is g double prime, derivative of this, which is 2x. Now we'll arrange it. This is 2x g prime of x square. Here I have 4x g prime of x square. And here I have plus 4x cubed g double prime of x square. So the answer is 6x plus 4x cubed g double prime at x squared. Which is this answer? If x equal this, then find the slope of the tangent line at this point. So this is 25 minus x squared to the power half. What will be f prime? It will be half 25 minus x squared to the power minus half derivative of this, which is minus 2x. What we want, we want the slope at x equal 4. The slope will be f prime at 4. So f prime at 4 will be half. This is what? 25 minus 16, 1 over 3. Huh? 1 over square root of 9, which is 1 over 3, times this is minus 2 times 4. So this is cancelled. You have minus 4, minus 4 over 3, which is this one. Okay, for what value of C? This curve has a horizontal tangent. Horizontal tangent means y prime equals 0. But to find y prime, I need the chain rule. So it will be y prime. I need the quotient rule and the chain rule. Drift to the numerator. That will be e c x times c plus 1 times the denominator. Times the denominator. Minus. The, the numerator times derivative of the denominator, which is 2cx. 
I mean y prime at x equals zero, because you said horizontality at x equals zero. Over this one is square. Now, y prime at x equals zero, that would be what? Yeah. At x equals zero, I have e to the power zero, that will be one, so I have c plus one times one minus here e to the power zero, one plus zero, that will be one times that will be zero over at x be zero, that will be one square equal zero. So that means c plus one equal zero, that means c equal minus one, which is the answer. This curve has a horizontal tangent line. Y prime is 2x minus 2 minus sine. Oh, it has the lin. So we'll do it later. Okay. The sum of the x coordinates of the points at which this function has a horizontal tangent. This function, when I have y prime equals 0. So I have 3, 3x minus 2x squared, all square. Yeah, times 3 minus 4x, this is f prime. 3, all of this is squared, times 3 minus 4x, that should be equal to 0. So I have 3x minus 2x squared, which is x 3 minus 2x, that should be equal to 0. So I have x equal 0, x equal 3 over 2. And also 3 minus 4x equals 0. So I have x equals 3 over 4. So the sum would be 0 plus 3 over 2 plus 3 over 4. That will be 9 over 4 because this is 6 over 4. If you have g at the fun functions, those graphs are showing below. And let h of x equal f at g of x. You want h prime at 1, h prime at 2. So h prime at x is f prime at g of x times g prime of x. So it will be h prime at 1. It will be f prime at g at 1 times g prime at 1. OK, what is g at 1? This is g. g at 1 is 2. So this is f prime at 2 times g prime at 1. OK, now f prime at 2. Where is the two? One, two. This is the two. So this is the line. I want to find that. I need to find it through the slope of the time of the line. This is the line. So the tangent line is the same. So I need two points. So I'll take this point and I'll take this point for this line. So I have two and one, and they have three and zero. So f prime at 2, let me do it here. f prime at 2 will be what? 0 minus 1 over 3 minus 2. That will be minus 1. So this is minus 1. What about g prime at 1? This is, this is g prime at 1. This is the point. So I need this line. For this line, I have this point which is 1 and 2. Also, I have this point, which is 2 and 4. So, g prime at 1 will be 4 minus 2 over 2 minus 1, and that will be 2. So, this is minus 1 times 2, that will be minus 2. This is h prime at 1. Now, h prime at 2, it will be f prime at g at 2, times g prime at 2. g at 2 is what? g at 2 is 4. So that will be f prime at 4 times g prime at 2. Time. For f prime at 4, I have the other line, this line now. I am in this line. So take a point. You can take this point. You can I take this point also, which is 4 and 3. So it will be f prime at 4. That will be 3 minus 0 over 4 minus 3. So that will be 3. That will be 3. 
what is g prime at 2? No, for g prime at 2, I have the same line. So it will be the same value. So g prime at 2, g prime at 2 would be equal g prime at 1, which is 2. So this is 10, but that would be 6. So this one is minus 2 plus 6, which is 4. That would be nice. Yeah. Last question, which is true or false. Let me go backward. This one represents what? G prime at 1. He said which one is false. So G prime at 1, G prime at X is 6, X to the power 5. So G prime at 1 will be 6. So this is correct. The derivative of tan square equals secant square. What is this? Let me check. Derivative of tan square. That will be what? 2 tan x. Derivative of tan, which is secant square. What is the derivative of secant square? That will be 2 secant x. Derivative of secant, which is secant tan. Look at this one. This secant square tan, this is secant square tan two. So this is correct also. Now, this one, if you open it, I think we did something similar. The highest power is x to the power 28 plus something x to the power 27 and so on. So the 29 derivative for sure it will be zero. The derivative polynomial is polynomial. Yes, this is correct. This is why why this is wrong. Chain rule. It will be f prime at square root of x times 1 over 2 square root of x. So this is, should be square root of x, not x. So this is wrong. Yeah. Let me stop here because now after that, I will do the derivative of len and uh, logarithmic function and a to the power x. And they will do it in the next video. Yeah, let me stop the recording. Thank you.